Hello guys and girls, this is Snowy here and welcome to part 7 of Caldera City with all disasters to full. Now in the previous episode we have been doing quite a lot actually, uh, even though the episode was not that long, but we built out this university over here, like that. Uh, build a parking lot, I guess, I think, in front of it, or maybe that was in the episode before that, I don't know anymore. Anyway, we also enhanced the metro system in this area, um, and we tried out a failed dam project over here, um, because it costed way too much to uh, operate this thing for that little amount of power, and I will just save up the money to get like the Tesla Gigafactory. Also, before I closed off the uh, last episode, I added a few more of these storehouses for the for the oil because I noticed uh, in the uh, if I get out of this view, you know, I noticed that these things were very much the, completely filled up to the brink. I thought like let's put in a few more of those things to uh, accommodate that. So currently we are oh that's the wrong button. Do we earn money with oil? Uh, yes, you know, if you look at the warehouses, then yes, uh, you could say we are earning some money with the oil. Okay, now today we are going to do something different. We are going to leave this place for the time being and we are going to this area. Because today, yes, today, 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 we will go... Where no sim has gone before. <laughs> we are going to actually inhabit this peninsula sort of over here. And hopefully, well, not getting flooded or wiped out in the process. So I will remove this dam. Um, and probably I will put that dam just around this peninsula. And I think I will remove this section because this looks a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, not natural. And put like the harbor somewhere around here. So let's hope for the best and uh, let's uh, let's start and let's play right now. Let's get out of this view. Let's uh, show that everything is still like as it is. It is like uh, gameplay settings and TMPE is despawning on disabled. Um, German signs simulation accuracy is set to medium. And here in gameplay, it is saying use dynamic, dynamic weather and use random disasters. So those are set to maximum. Okay, so, and we need, besides, we need a residential uh, people anyway. Now, this entire area, by the way, uh, we have the shelter over here. Now, this shelter is pretty much filled up. I like it, you know, there's enough food, there is water, there's power, everything is there. I like it. I like it. 10,000 people will fit in here, but how many people does this area have? Now let me check out this area. Now, this area, which is called the main Caldera city, has now, let me see, 5,000 people. Okay, so we can like uh, add 5,000 more. Now, let me remove this uh, protection wall. And um, yeah, if I just... Put this, um, yeah, what will I do? Will I just drain it or will I just cover it? Mm, if I drain it, it will cause a flooding. Oh, why did I remove that dam? <laughs> that was not a smart thing to do. Just a second, uh, just, you know. Okay, very temporary then. Dam, dam, dam. Without the N. And then use the soil and <laughs> remove this stuff. And it was, this will create a little bit of flooding. Yeah. But we need the space. Let's increase the brush size a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is nice. So we have a nice flat area here to build upon, like here also. So this area is not lying that high above sea level, which is like, well, a nice recipe for a tsunami. 
Which, by the way, we did not see yet uh, during this uh, entire series. Uh, which I find a little bit odd. I don't know. Um, I don't see any tsunamis yet, so I have no idea. Unless you counted this as a tsunami. I, I don't know. Let's speed up this thing a little bit. Like that. Uh, okay, that will do. No. It's okay. Great, so we have now an area to go. Now, where's the main road? The main road is... This is the main highway, which is coming in here. Um, okay, let's speed to, speed to normal. Now, we can put, like, maybe a roundabout here. Maybe. That should... Yeah, that could be a nice idea, you know, to uh, make this traffic to go diverge a little bit into other directions. Okay. Uh, okay, let's pause for a hot moment. And let me do this, 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 this. You go away, you go away. Yeah. That will do. Uh, roundabout builder. And that will be like a... Let me see. Three lane... Highway. Three lane highway. Where's the one with highway? No, it's just a highway. Yeah. Uh, free cursor mode, let's see, make it a little bigger, a little bigger, bigger, put it in the middle, here we go, great, now let's see, let's do this and this, uh, and this, and let's see where the nodes are on this thing, thank you. So there's a node and there's a node. Okay, I don't like that particularly. So we can turn around this roundabout a little bit. So these nodes will more, you know, come together for these uh, these part of the highway. So we turn it around. Uh, come on. Turn around like that. And here we can do the same with this road. Actually, it's already sitting pretty nice like this. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Let's take this. Uh, now we can play again. Let's take this. Take that. And then here, uh, this is the small four-lane road. Okay. We take it up to, let's say, there. And then we take the two-lane highway. Where is it? need to connect that up. This one to uh, there and there. And then we have like this tiny road, which is a little bit sitting awkward. Uh, let's see how we are going to deal with that, you know, with this. Hmm. Let me move this. Oh, this thing cannot be moved. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Not emptying. Oh, it can be moved. Everything can be moved with the moving mod. Oh, it is sinking. <laughs> it's sinking. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Don't sink. Ah, this is looking like messy. Very messy. Do a control H to this road. Can you do that, please? Thank you. Okay, let's terraform this a little bit. So, is it getting darker or do I have the day-night cycle on or what? Let me check. Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> I should not have. <laughs> Thank you. I was already thinking like it's getting so dark. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, here. Uh, so let me do a little bit with this stuff over here. It looks a little bit more, you know, just better. That's it, you know, more acceptable. Okay, use the sloping thing. Here we go. Nice, nice. Now let's get this road. And I have no idea why I took this very small uh, road, but we are going to replace that with a normal mm, two-lane road. Click it, click it, click, 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 click it. Yeah. And then coming from this roundabout, from here, and then make a curve from here to there as well. 
which is nice and then let's also uh, where is that tool this one nope what am I doing wrong I want to oh space already occupied okay not anymore that's better now we have an extra uh, option to get out of here and the other main road is yeah basically this road you know but that road sort of ends here which I it's like that's nasty because there's also like a, an underground underground path there now let me see what I can do about that again scrolling 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 here so let me see where is that thing going okay we can also put that to the other side that's okay like that and we can move it here nice uh, okay yeah so let's drag this road and now we are going into the land of the unknown where no simoleon has gone before all the way to here 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 and also from this uh, this roundabout okay I cannot attach really these uh, extra options to it but maybe I can let's just try it out by doing this and then brace it like that like that and like that and like that and that uh, two lanes. I need two lanes. These coming from, let me see, there to there, and there to, and from there to there. Yeah, that will help. Ooh, that's such satisfying, you know. Great. Now, let me do this roundabout. Control Shift click and set the speed to 60. Uh, and then also here, these guys. Oh, I forgot to turn the road around. Okay. Silly ass me. This one. And there it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now let's do this again. Uh, here we put like these connectors. Uh, we put them here also. Uh, here we did not apply. Here they are also not applied. And let me see. These are fine. These are fine. These are fine. Yep, fine. Mm. Yep, this is okay. Uh, you are not okay. You should be dead. Yeah. And here, no crossings, no crossings, no crossings. And carry through the junction. And the same will be applied to here. No crossings and carry through the junction. Right. These guys can also go on. No crossings here. Just go through another way, I don't know where, but figure it out yourself and do a dedicated lane turn. Right, now about that uh, wall, that um, dam, we are going to put it just around here. Um, now the question is, are we going to combine that with a moat? You know, something in the case of a tsunami. We could use the parallel road mod for it. I have seen Biffa doing that once, but uh, how we exactly did it, um, I don't know anymore. I think, let me check that, where is that thing? Here. So, now I have to think a little bit because we need a, a dam and a canal. First you, you, let's see, same as selected, you, you start with the dam. Okay, so starting with the dam, the dam is here, same as selected, yeah, flood wall. Uh, what happens if I do it now? What? Oh, I get two dams, ah, okay, that's not the idea. Um, no, we need to, let me see, the, the deep canal. Nope, 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 you go away. And then the deep white canal, and then adding, add network. Yeah, that should be then the. Um, Warning. Experts predict an earthquake could hit uh, earthquake is coming. Where's the. 
Where is the uh, flood defense? Oh my life, this thing is like ages long. This can I search it? Flood wall. Ah, yeah, here we have it. Okay, so let me test this out. I pause the game for a hot moment, otherwise, I can I pause it? Oh man. Okay, 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 okay fine. Okay. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. We will see later. Let's see what this does. What? Oh, the flood wall has a. Uh... Yeah. The, <laughs> the earthquake uh, messed everything up. Uh... Okay, let me try this again. Okay, let me try this again. No. Uh, where, where is my... No, I lost the... Uh... Here it is. No. Can we please add this? Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's remove this. No, nah, uh, that's not necessary, I guess. I need to select the wide deep canal. Um, oh my life, this is more tougher than I thought. Okay, how about now? Uh, this is not even required, this one. Interesting. Yeah, that works well. Ex except the, diff uh, the um, distance is a little bit too big. Let's make it 40. That's a little bit too close. Then let's make it 60. Now that is perfect. Right? Right. Now let's see. Uh, I have to work from, let's say, this side to make this happen. Okay, we put that there. Now let's just figure out, okay, the dam there, we take this and we take this off, so I have all the freedom to navigate with this stuff. And here we go, look at that. Following the contours of this area. like a sort of mm, yeah mountain edge over here a, 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 a ridge <laughs> edge ridge whatever you want to call it I think this is good enough I think uh, this surrounds the entire area now look at this nice 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 But the only difference is, is that I am going to use actually the large water pump uh, to suck out the water what will be going into if a tsunami occurs. So let me uh, put those things around and uh, be right back. Okay then, so how about this? Uh, what do you guys think of this? Uh, these pumps, they have a huge capacity. Um, I will not say that they will stop a level 10 tsunami, but um, in order to you know get the water out of uh, the area, we need also these. Uh, um, how you call how you call these guys? Those uh, sucking. Um, let me check that out. Let me check how, how are these uh, called? These ones. Pumping services. Those are the guys. Yes. Um, now it's very important that these guys are not getting flooded by themselves. So they need to be at sort of an elevation. Let's say if, if I put them roughly somewhere around here. 
uh, but that, that they can quickly go to that location. That would be nice. Mm. Okay, how are we going to tackle that problem? We need a little bit of space around here. So I need to flatten out a little bit of this terrain. Otherwise, I cannot place these guys. So, okay, let me flatten out this a little bit. It's like... Mm. Uh, yeah, we need a little bit of land over here. For these guys sorry <laughs> it's like a mess you know here on this hill you know with the terrain it's like, it's like chaos terrain over here let me just smoothify this out a little bit yeah that's more reasonable nice let's grab also this big road no not that road sorry this road this road thank you and let me put that over here. Turn all the snapping options on to here and there. Now we have like the room here for these water guys, the pumping servers. Now these buildings do cost a lot per month to operate. One, two, three. I want a whole bunch of them, you know, if there's a, like a huge tsunami, I want these guys to get everywhere. But they are like 712 per week to operate. So the thing is, if a tsunami is coming, uh, then uh, let me see, I need pipes. If a tsunami is coming, I will enable them so they can do their jobs. Yeah, so for the time being, I will turn them just off. Turning off, turning off, turning off. Okay, nice. So, uh, about tsunamis. Do we have like any kind of warning system against that? Let me let me check this out. Uh, tsunami buoys? Yeah, these things. Okay, yeah, can I place them? Let me check it out here. Yeah, we can place them here. Or did I already place them? No, I did not place them. Okay, then here, 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 here. Yeah, from this side, I don't expect anything. And from this side, well, if something is coming, well, I put just one. So those things are also in place. Nice, nice, nice. Now, what we now need to do is make sure that these guys can get over to this area, of the entire area, uh, as fast as possible. So, uh, what I often see in other videos is like that these guys often get clogged up in traffic because they cannot get to their, uh, you know, location where they need to be. So, I want to give these guys a proper connection. Mm, how are we going to do that? Um, getting from here. Maybe under the yeah under the road here. So let's take this option. Uh, yeah, let's take this, and then from here to there. Yeah, make a bend. Seven by eleven. Seven eleven. <laughs> okay, let's add another four, and then make a seven by a seven. Then make also sure that they definitely can move on here. Drive through the junction. Okay, thank you. Now let's go here and make sure these guys can dive under. 6 by 12. That's the, I think. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So to the middle is like 6, so this has to be 12 also. And then up again by another six if you don't mind please thank you home thank you right right that's nice not only that I also want them to be connect to this area so they can drive directly into that area they can go that way for which I'm turning this road into also this type of road so they can go move fast in this direction and I will make a connection here as well but that will be a one-way road this type of road yeah so that will then basically go from here 
ya to hmm uh, to there and well it's connecting up perfectly look at that slope ugly let, let's uh, let let us do something about that this option and then slope yeah that works out fine um now what i want to do is take the highway take a one lane road like this and this and also turn this thing into a one laner also like that now why because then it's easier for them to not sit in each other's way now let's also use the node control to make this thing bigger in this case like 25 yeah like that and then use the lane connectors to say like okay you go that way yeah something like that don't park there in the speed well you definitely want to drive on so i say 60 yeah i love i love that idea i love this idea so so give me uh Give me a moment and uh, I will uh, buy up some, buy, <laughs> I will build up some, uh, yeah, residential area and everything that is required uh, to uh, build more residentials and more commercials over here. We'll be right back. So took me kind of a lot of time, you know, to uh, to make this happen. It's a mismatch of like you know roads, uh, intersections, and whatnot. And the idea is actually simple: put more of the residential in the center. I also built like another emergency shelter over here, a second one because the first one is pretty far away. Um, yeah, the only thing that I need to do now is uh, put in yeah, all kinds of services and all that kind of stuff. Uh, also the commercial area and maybe also the office zones will be around these things. Because I think these things are noisy, I guess. They are not noisy? These pumps? No, they are not. Maybe because they are not working. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway. I will not put residentials uh, close to those, um, yeah, to to those guys. And let's keep this to low residential area because I think, well, you know, if you put high rise there, then it's like uh, I don't know, asking for trouble, I guess. So let us start. Uh, low rise, uh, low residential over here. 
and over there. Um, yeah, regarding this, hmm, it's interesting, you know, because people want to get here as fast as possible. Uh, now, you could argue for a metro, which would be helpful, you know, that I have also on the top layer there, on the top side. Uh, but what about, but you know, when a flood happens, uh, the metro will be destroyed very quickly. So, a monorail, on the other hand, will last longer, because, you know, it's a building that can, yeah, stay longer on its place. Um, now, let me think about that for a moment. Can I even build those things or not yet? We can. Okay. So, I need to put like a monorail just, yeah, must be placed roadside. Okay. So, okay. Now, let's think about this for a minute. Um, let's take this road. Uh, I think the... Mm, yeah, make it like this. I think the monorail is four wide. I think it can be placed right here. Let's check it out. The monorail, which is this. Yeah, it's even only three wide, but it's okay. This works out nicely. And to make sure that people actually can walk from that monorail station to the shelter, I will make just a path from here to there. And here, well... Mm, Never mind, it's okay. Although, wait a second, we can move this slightly to the right. Although that's not slightly, it's just a big, yeah, that's better. Because this is like a bicycle uh, path. We can drag that towards the shelter. They can directly bicycle into the shelter. Yeah, which is nice. Now, uh, another stop here and there or not? Uh, let me think. A monorail there. Now let's see where we can put like a monorail elsewhere. Uh, I know that these things do cause a lot of noise. So let me check out the place where we can put them. I think this is a good place. You know, there's not that much uh, residential area over here. So I think this will do. Uh, yeah, not bad. No, not bad. So let me put it just over there. And I don't know about here, somewhere. Mm, we have, by the way, also a train line here. So why not put it also there? Ah, yeah. These are residentials, I'm pretty sure of it. So let me put that one over there. Yeah. So the only thing that we now need is to connect all this stuff up. Okay, so take this thing there we take the bend option turn all the snap tool stuff off take this to that let's see oh this will be this will be a straight line that's easy yeah now this one has to go to there now let me see the best route is through here around here Okay, let's uh, monkey around there and we will see how far away we can get. Let's see, we go there. And there we will go just there. Thank you. From here we will go there. Just close to the uh, commercial area because they don't care. The, the people do, but... Too bad for them. And this is like just touching that school. And here we connect it up to there. Nice. Uh, and now this thing has to be connected up to that thing. Okay. <coughs> that is going to be troublesome. You know what? I'm just going to plow it through, straight through this area. I don't care. There's even a park there. Uh, okay. You know, just plow it through it, uh, even over the parks and through the buildings and whatnot. All for the better good. People don't like it? Well, too bad. Uh, you go live somewhere else. <laughs> I need to put this, uh, this track somewhere. So, here we go. Nice. Now, let's draw a line from there. 
to there. Now that they do like. To there. To there. Back again. Back again. And finishing the line. Let's give it a nice color, something less dirty, you know, a little bit yellow, bright. And add a few vehicles, like five? Yeah, that's enough. I guess so. Yeah. So, let me check it out. The Because that is something I did not uh, took into account. The uh, shelter in this region. Where is it? Any, where is that thing anyway? Oh, there. Here it is. Oh, this uh, thing is pretty nice in nearby. Ah, okay. So if I take like the pathway, take it from here. Sorry about your business. Uh, hmm. Uh, come on, let's curve it. Curve it like that. Like that. And from here to there. Now look at that. They can directly run to the to the shelter if needed from this uh, yeah monorail. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, now how far are we here? Now I know that people will move in as soon as there is more uh, you know leisure stuff and etc. Parks and those things. So let's put some you know parks around here to make them happy. Like the Japanese garden, for example, over here. And maybe one over there. We can put like also, let's put also some trash collection here. How about the trash collection anyway? Where we have a few of those, a few of these landfills. Mm, let's just take an ordinary landfill. That will do just over here. Yeah. Uh, what else do we need more? Like a little bit, a few more parks. Yeah. A few more park. Dog, dog park. No, that's not a dog park. This is a dog park. And the commercials we will throw around the area. Here. Like that, where the pumps are. So, if the pumps are in use, then... And if they make noise, well, then the commercial area will pick up the noise. And... Let's take let's take the painting tool here like that. We'll go all around this area. Ooh, this is rather slim. Okay, let's change this a little bit. And this will not really work, so we will put more of those guys on this side then. Yeah, that will that will do the trick. Something like that. And here, well, we, you know, I have not even filled up this area yet, so I will do. So let's take let's take a school also. Put the school here. Yep. Also the high school. We put that. Uh, well, we could put the high school here. Yep, that makes them also happy. Then we do a little bit of uh, medical stuff, you know. A little bit of needle here, needle there. We can put that there. Why not? Now we have like a gazillion amount of uh, traffic lights over here. So let me turn those things off. You go off. You know, there are 50 million things, you know, that I still can do. But yeah, you're always limited by the time that you have for a um, for an episode to record, which sometimes I find a little bit of pity. But okay, nothing to do about it. Let's do some uh, lane mathematics. I mean, uh, uh, not lane mathematics. Uh, capital city, nineteen thousand. Oh, that means I can build like ships. Uh, I know. I meant uh, dedicated turning lanes. Uh, dedicated turning lanes. So. For example, here and here. Come on, come on. Click. Yep. You too. And also here. Here. Dedicate. Not there. Not there either. Here. Here. And here. 
here where there are still traffic lights by the way go away thank you you also dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes and more traffic lights for days and here also we need dedicated turning lanes yeah these are fine yep dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes yep it's a lot of dedicated turning lanes uh, everywhere and nowhere but in here as well this i have done nice and did i do this roundabout uh, probably not now i did yeah turn that in 50 thank you now also with that um, 19,000 inhabitants that we have uh, reached i can build uh, a ship a shipyard yeah dedicated turning lanes oh another round mount here we go <clears throat> Yeah, let's go do that. Let's get to the other side of the map. Let's go here to this place. And here we will build now a ship cargo harbor. This one. Yeah. Okay, select the move it mod, select it, align it the height with the key wall, which is nice. Then we take this option and unlock that road. Thank you and oh wait a second that's the passenger harbor no i make this mistake i nearly made this mistake again <laughs> we need a cargo harbor cargo harbor this one oh my gosh you know i made this mistake in the past so often you know also with train stations i wanted to place a cargo station and place a passenger station how how silly you know uh, unhook that road thank you and then grab the one way mm, this one yep the other way around thank you then bring it like 20 to that side and then also 20 to this side like that and then we are going to make a bend here of like five by five and then another five by five bring it to there we will fix that later in a moment here also and then another five by five and a five by five thank you excellent perfect let me turn this around flip this around uh flip this around And we have to hook that on this road. Let's pull those this road away. Now, what kind of road is this? This is like just a simple industrial road, right? Only two lanes. Hmm. Okay, let's um, make that a four laner. I just picked this road, which is better, I I think. yeah not bad uh now let's see uh let's see let's see let's see let's see uh, two-way now why 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 do i make it myself so difficult just select this road get it from here bring it up okay let's bend it a little bit just like that and then we can use the node controller by saying you know make it a little bit more you know curvy like that perfect now if we have to do some lane mats over here we are going to add like a three lane one way road here here and here here and here and then here we can say with a lane connectors you know people can go around but it can also move on that that is particularly useful for like trash collection put services and all that kind of stuff 
uh, that they don't need to turn around uh, over the entire road this direction you know that uh, that is a pretty long distance so let let me put in a, a firehouse over here and police station will do and i think Mm, a park here? Nah, we don't need it, right? And some trash collection. So, are we going for this one this time? An eco incineration plant? Why not? Yeah, look, let's put that across here. Nice! So, let's see, also here. Nope, no crossings and drive through the junction, whether it's blocked or not. You see that guy already going? He's going straight on to, co to collect the trash that is already here, somewhere. I don't know. Will he pick up that container? I'm curious. Will this container vanish? <laughs> yeah, it will. Nice, nice, nice. I love to see those things, you know. Great, so we can now import and export here. Great. Um, okay, so, yeah, now let's see how this is going. Um, I think these guys still need a little bit more. Look, they're not happy, you know, they're unhappy. So we put in another dog park here. And maybe a tropical garden. I think they like that also. Yeah, make the people happy. Parking? Do they need parking? Not on this road, I think. Power. Oh, 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 power issues. Oh, wait a second. Power. Yeah, the Tesla thing. Where is that? Where is that thing? The Tesla. Um, we can build that thing now. I have like a million uh, available. Okay, Tesla. But I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it somewhere safe. Um... I think probably here let me put it yeah let me put it behind the uh, yeah that's a very nice spot just behind the uh, university that's nice I mean I think that's pretty safe over there uh, if not then I would say where is this thing no nope, not there uh, always have to look for these things you know a little flood wall around Tesla, but <laughs> because the, the Tesla uh, Gigafactory is like a very important thing. This is like a you know a huge wall, you know, com in comparison. Hmm. It's also it also looks a little bit funky. <laughs> it looks funky. It looks actually look a little bit ridiculous if you ask me. But okay, you know what? I don't care. So we are going to move this closer by let's move this closer by like that we are going to move this closer by and this and also this and let's also align the heights because like i said it looks a little bit off uh, so select all the nodes this one we have this one this one this one and this one and align the whole thing to this one pitching and take also this thing itself and align it to the road. Is that okay? Yeah, I can. I can sort of live with that. Um, you know, and just to make it a little bit private, we say like, put it not as yeah, a zoo fence. Okay, wait a second. Let me take. Yeah, this is fine. You know, I think. Oh no, that does not fit. Wait, 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 wait. Let's turn off collision. No, not a fence. I want a wall. I want a, I want a nice looking wall. Let me see. What do we have? How about this? Is there something? Collision is turned off. Let me turn off this as well. So we can definitely completely do it. Now there's a tsunami coming with an intensity of 9.5? Are you serious? Really? Where? Where? Oh my... It's coming from that direction? Uh... 
Oh, what the? Uh oh, that means trouble for this. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting, uh, actually. You know, at the end of this episode, nonetheless, uh, this is uh, very interesting. <laughs> I'm, <c> I'm <laughs> kind of amused to see that it actually happens right now. Let's smoothify this a little bit. Yeah. And use this smoothing thing. Put the brush size very low. Just gently tap around it. And yeah. Okay. What what will this do? This is the first tsunami, guys, we ever get. It looks a little bit weird. This is a 9.5. You know, I had once a mod, you know, that made the water surface a little bit more, um, well, texturized, sort of. You know, this you can barely see it unless it hits uh, land, but it's still quite some far. It's still far away, you know. In but if it will go over the whole width of the map, then it will definitely overflow this area, and it will also hit this area. <laughs> uh oh! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> so, let me make a screenshot sort of sort of this. Um, you can barely see it actually, but uh, you know this. The, you know this uh, title will definitely fit this episode, where no sim has gone before. <laughs> to boldly go, yes, that will be it. To boldly go. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you, guys and girls, thank you for watching with this episode, and I hope to see you soon back in episode episode number eight and just see how this will end okay guys see you bye bye